top of the morning guys top of the morning good morning from uh, the beautiful kigali rwanda oh the sun is so nice it's so amazing it's so beautiful it's bright and early and uh, kish my world we are here uh, today is uh, the third sunday of the month and uh, i came to learn that here in kigali in rwanda every third sunday of the month is something that is known as a uh, it's something that is known as the car free day so basically like this car here that's distracting my speaking is non-existent in some parts of the city so basically that's what i'm up to i'm going to see how the car free day celebrations are here in rwanda and uh, they usually close off some streets like almost definitely they don't open them at all for about four hours from seven to ten just in an effort for Kigali sustainability or Rwanda sustainability and uh, environmental preparation so basically what happens is cars, motorbikes or anything with a motor is not allowed into the city and into certain specific parts of the city and uh, that's why I'm up up early in the morning because that's what I want to go and see yes and I love that the sun is in front of me so it can actually glow up my beautiful face so that we can see Wagwan, you know? <laughs> so I'm rushing there. Uh, I'm gonna meet a friend, a fellow YouTuber. Uh, he's the one who actually gave me insight about this. So we're gonna meet up and we're going to go and uh, just see Wagwan. Yeah man, top of the morning guys, Kish Mawal. So let's go and see how Kigali Kafride is. Already you can see the signs have started because so far in this entire street there isn't any vehicles any bicycles nothing behind me in front of me and you can also see how clean and crisp the streets are so far so in the car free day you can walk in the middle of the road like i am like now right now because there's nothing that is stopping you because vehicles are really going to be non-existent especially in the streets where we are gonna go yes so we have a small walk to walk there it's about 15 minutes yes and of course i can't take any <laughs> border or anything because there's no cars available no vehicles so yeah let's go and experience this beautiful thing right here from kigali in rwanda and uh, it also happens to be my last day here before i head on to the next country so top of the morning guys kish my world let's go and guys as you can see there's like road barriers everywhere so it's not allowed to for any vehicles to come in through here and walk through here hi my friend yes so no cars are allowed here no vehicles no motorcycle okay it's closed okay wow guys it's amazing so no motorcycles no nothing the cyclists are allowed the guys can oh guys are working out in groups over there i can see a huge group already yeah <laughs> this is so exciting yeah so it's like clean clean you can walk in the street you can do whatever you want you know it's all open to the public and uh, they're running and singing and chanting and just loving the day and this is going to go on for like four hours with nothing happening Jeez, my god i wish this could happen everywhere and you can see like cyclists are being allowed here in this area and others here and people running and jogging yeah and that's just about it man that's it nobody else is allowed to do anything all this way is car free even this way is like car free the traffic lights have no use right now because there's no vehicles coming here that is it man and you can see now people are coming out here to like work out you know and just move and enjoy the free space yes boss yeah that is it so let's go and see there's like probably a lot more happening you know so as a kenyan actually i'm very impressed and i wish more countries in the world would also do the same thing we can walk straight straight free here no vehicle will be allowed here for four good hours wow look at that guys there's people running everywhere you know up the hills you know it's the land of a thousand hills so there's joggers everywhere running up hill downhill and uh, 
like you keep painting more and more and there's gonna be even actually much more people there was just a huge group in front of me that was running and singing and chanting songs but uh, i couldn't catch up with them but it's really interesting yes so anyways uh, i got a small history here about what happens on the car free day and uh, they said first of all that the the car free day started in 2016 as part of rwanda's effort to make kigali more environmentally sustainable so that's the main reason that they started this uh, beautiful day because they're trying to make it more environmentally sustainable you know and uh, on this day uh, motorists are encouraged to ditch their vehicles and motorbikes for environmental friendly walking and running and just to keep you know to keep fit also yes and basically they're saying that uh, from history they've seen that uh, Kigalika Free Day's purpose is to encourage sustainable living in the city but not only that it also I think that's you know that's encouraging people to be more physically fit and just to you know work out more and be more strong basically for them the, the body's well-being also so yeah that's some of the reasons why they do it and uh, it's done every first and third Sunday of the month so if you're in Kigali every first and third Sunday of the month hey if there's some places you're planning to go yeah there might not be transport available because it is only these bicycles rollerblades more bicycles more rollerblades and people walking sitting and enjoying <laughs> oh kigali free days amazing and you can see how much still the clean the city is clean yeah so let's go a bit deep and then we'll meet my friend the fellow youtuber and then he's gonna give us more breakdown of how everything works and uh, just give us a whole overview insight of everything kish my world let's do this okay guys so now i have arrived to some place with some action and as you can see there's cyclists everywhere there's people ready to drink some tea and coffee over there and then we have a street aerobics yeah <laughs> they're doing street aerobics wow how crazy is this so so interesting i hope the sound won't bring any problems but we'll brush through we'll brush through so it's street aerobics for keeping fitness look at this yeah Amazing. You can have an outdoor gym, you can work out and do your you know strength training, muscle training, aerobics, name it. And even the ropes over here. If you wanna do the ropes, and all you just need to do is stand in line and you do the workout for free in the streets. And some guy there is putting pulling some weights. Wow, this is so nice. And the aerobics are continuing in the front over there. Oh god, there's even some volleyball over here. They're playing some uh, street volleyball. <laughs> oh, crazy. 
Gallic Afray. Hands in the air, hands in the air, more falls. Hands in the air, hands in the air. That is it. Okay, and on this side, we have more press ups on this. And then on this side, we have some more happening. Wow. It's like the kids park over here, you know? So everywhere, yeah, there's some kids having some fun over here down. Yeah, and uh, of course, we are in the most popular area in Rwanda which is in the convention center over here this is the most popular Kigali convention center right next to the Radisson Blue so we are dead dead center in the city yeah man okay let's go and see some more action it's just that there's a lot of music but I can show you like even people doing the traditional Rwandese dances this is a traditional Rwandese dance, you know? They usually dance a lot with their hands and it looks so nice and good. Wow, I hope the music man doesn't give me problems, but I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have, I have to run away because of the music, but yeah, basically that's how the, tra the Rwandese traditional dances are with people like, you know, with their hands and stuff. All right. Let me go and look for my friend, then we continue and we see what going on. Alright guys, so welcome back and uh, finally I've uh, met up with my bro here and he's going to tell us a more detailed explanation about what's happening today. You know me, I was just giving you sketchy, sketchy details. So yeah, he's gonna tell us exactly what happens in the car free day, how often, so anyway, let me not preempt. So bro, what's up? I'm good, I'm good, I'm Yeah good. man, give yeah. yourself first of all an introduction um, to my audience. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, hello, good morning, how are you? It's the morning here though. Yeah, it's very uh, early, yeah. Maybe it's, it's not gonna be the morning <laughs> <laughs> on the other side. But uh, yeah, hello, I'm uh, Mucho Willy, uh, but uh, I go with the names Mucho Huachera. Mucho Wachera. Wachera, okay. Hey, wachera. It's written like W A K E R A. Yeah. I'm Randan, born yeah. and raised. I'm a content creator, videographer, photographer, singer, and uh, what? And everything else. And everything else. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can you can you know give your page your YouTube channel a shout yes. out so that people can go and watch. And also yeah. you have two channels. A, a music channel yes. and a video content yes. creation. Yes, yeah, yes. shout out yourself. Okay, so the, the content uh, creation channel is Wachera. It's yeah. written like, you can uh, spell it like Wachera. It's like uh, W A K E R A. And oh. my music channel is Mucho Wachera. It's a M U C Y O. W A K E R A. So what does mucho mucho wachera mean? Does it mean like more of wa wachera? No, no, or, no, no, yeah. no. Some people confuse it like uh, mucho, which is uh, yeah, Spanish. Spanish for more. No, not really. Okay. It, it is a Kinyarwanda name. Uh -huh. That means like um, light. 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 Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So guys, make sure you go and uh, check him out. I'll put his links also below so you guys can see and just get to you know support the guy. He's gonna show me around. And it's gonna explain to us exactly what is happening here. As you guys can see, there's like a lot of people doing sports and working out and everything. There's bicycles everywhere and uh, music in the background. Like, what's happening, man? Is it like a big party? Is it oh, like a drinking fest? We call it a party, yes. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it's, a, it's a day that we call uh, Kafri Day. Kafri Day, yeah. Kafri Day. Uh, so, Kafri Day is, a, is like a special day. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, it happens uh, twice. Uh, twice a month. Twice a month, yeah. Yes, and it started uh, in 2016, if I remember well. Yes, yes. Uh, 2016. Wow. Uh, so it started when the the city wanted to to keep the, the environment safe without any cars, yeah, yeah, any like vehicles, today, like looks, any, yeah. any motorbikes yeah. uh, going, and also they wanted also to keep people healthy. Yes. And uh, fit. Yeah, you, you know, so it's a day where people gather and uh, do sports. Okay. Uh, so the, some roads are closed. Yeah, yeah, uh, totally. Yes. Like no, even no motorbikes. Yes. Anything with an engine. Yeah. Okay. So o the only thing you can do is uh, put on some uh, workout, uh, you know, outfit. Yeah. And uh, and come and uh, 
jog and walk and yeah. dance wow. and uh, ride a bicycle. Yes. Yeah, anything. Anything that makes yes. you physically fit. Yes, yes. Wow, that's amazing, man. And uh, I'm so encouraged to see like uh, Rwanda is doing this. It's like, actually, let me ask you, is it only in Kigali or is it even in the entire Rwanda? Uh, is it a, 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 it a is uh, in the entire country, but okay. it started yeah. from Kigali. Yeah. But uh, it's it, uh, also the other districts and the provinces. They are taking yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, but it's mandatory to close the roads when it's that period those two days yeah it's mandatory. but it's not mandatory to come and work out you no, can just no, no, chill no. at home you can okay just chill. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but i like to say that people are embracing it and yeah, they're they out and they're working it. out yeah yes, yes, yes. okay uh, i would like kids to go and try something yeah there, um, there is a, a traditional dance uh, you know lesson going down there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i walked by there and i saw them it's like yeah. they were flying lifting uh, yeah, their hands up in the air it's like you know they are imitating like Cows. Oh, it's like cows. cows. Okay, because okay. In our tradition, yeah. cows have a, a great value. Yes. You know, so the dancers used to also imitate, uh, you know, the cows. The cows. Okay, yeah. so that's why they, they throw their hands up like the horns. Yeah, like. Okay, I thought it's like birds. It's like they're flying, you know. Yeah, but guys, I was wrong. It's yes, supposed to be yes, the yes, cows. Yes, okay. Yes. Yeah, so also, what activities are there currently uh, in this day? Um, and there's a tent also there there's I'm the seeing. Tent. Yes. Is it for free water or something? Because I I was seeing people lining up and trying it, to drink it's something. It's a free checking. Yeah. You can check your your health. Like okay, okay. Your blood pressure. Yeah. Blood pressure. Your heart rate. Yes. yes okay. Something wow. Like that. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. One more thing. You told me that chances are the president or the first lady might be attending. Yes. Yes. Okay. So guys, maybe we'll get to meet the president and shake his hand and tell him welcome to Kish my yeah. world. You know. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You never know. Yeah, you never, you know. never know. Yeah. Never but it's a long shot. Yeah. But that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Does he re attend, attend regularly? Uh not regularly. Yeah. Some days. Yeah. But. Uh, they like to, to walk out. Sometimes they could come, uh, like uh, in um, San Grand Delhi in, in French, like uh, when people doesn't know. Okay, sometimes. okay, like surprisingly. Yeah, surprisingly. Okay, yeah. and uh, the, the, that's why there's like a lot of security detail. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Do you have a dog? I don't have a dog, man. Okay, you could even bring it. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see there's even yes, dog. Yes, so it's, yes. it's a car-free day, yeah, and yeah. it's pets allowed. Cats and dogs can all come. Yes. All right, so we're gonna go and uh, see some of the activities here one more time, and some of the workouts and everything. And who knows, maybe we meet the daughter of the president also and say hi. <laughs> that is it.
Yes, so news reaching us, information reaching us is that the president of Rwanda has arrived. Yeah, and he wants to meet me, of course, but uh, let, let me first of all finish my video. I'm not in a hurry to meet the president right now. <laughs> Anyways, he's coming up. There's a huge security detail with him, thousands of people or like hundreds more so. And uh, yeah, let's go and see if we can see President Paul Kagame working out, if it's possible. Yeah, but it's amazing that the president is, is so supportive that he even comes out to such events, even himself to set like the record and show the example and work out with the rest of the people. So yeah, and uh, he actually broke the rules because he brought in cars in here, even though it's a car free day. But I think we let him, let him easy, let him off easy. All right, let's go and see. The commotion you can see right now with people like trying to rush and walk is because the president is oh 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 <laughs> the president is like right there somewhere I can see him yeah and that's why you can see like uh, people are look at them waving and clapping because he's a great man and he's done big things for this country so yeah you can see people like running to impress their leader <laughs> guys I met the president amazing by wall. So guys you can see all this security all these people here are like rushing because they need to go and see the president and wave and just say hey and uh, I can see him from a distance but I don't think I'm gonna go all the way there because uh, I love my life you know so that is it I don't know where he's heading to but uh, he's like going down way this way and uh, all this personnel with him but as I said uh, being a president he's allowed probably to break the rules because you can see behind me here there's some vehicles which are coming in even though it's the car free day but they're just making sure that everything is good everything are gone yes man that is it you can see like the security looking at me and just making sure I'm not somebody who is doing nothing silly yeah I'm just I'm just a common youtuber guys <laughs> don't do nothing to me yeah all right let's go yeah guys so we are still here in the car free day area and they actually give you cold still water if you want to drink after working out you know making sure that everybody is okay in this stand here called vitalo so vitalo is providing like free cold water for everyone to drink after working out and kishmewal had to get some yes we tried to greet the president but it was unsuccessful uh, of course but it was good at least i have to say i was in rwanda and i experienced the car free day and more so i got even to see the president of rwanda from a distance and i just wanted to congratulate him for a job well done man he's transformed this country it looks so amazing everything good everything nice so yeah that is it I, I was actually meeting a lot of security personnel and i didn't even know they are his security because they're dressed like they're working out also yeah but <laughs> it's amazing and then somebody even stopped me because they did not understand what my GoPro camera was so they were like like trying to understand what I'm doing with this camera like this thing with, with, with has a stick and a gimbal type of thing but everything was okay and uh, the president has gone down so the workout continues he was also doing his power walk with his security detail and yeah man it's amazing man I love this country so much and uh, I just can't wait to see where it goes because this is the future of Africa and our other African leaders who are just sitting big with their big stomachs at home they should borrow a leaf from uh, Kampal, uh, from Kigali in Rwanda
Okay guys, so yeah, uh, finally the car free day is over and it's been so nice man, it's uh, like this is something I've never seen before and it's such a nice coincidence that it happened when I'm, when I'm here in this beautiful country called Rwanda and you can see how beautiful man it looks by on this place here, that's the convention center, that's like Radisson, but do you know what this statue is for? Uh, statue, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh you can interpret it the way you want yeah, yeah. i i mean it's like a, a, a mother with the child so i think it's like representing growth yes. or something or prosperity uh, yeah. yeah and there's like some lions there so probably shows the strength of a woman you know <laughs> yeah i think everybody can interpret it the way they want yeah but this place does it have a name this specific uh, area uh, this area is uh, 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 just timi it's near convention center. Oh, this is not of Chimihurura? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, like yeah. the same place I'm staying. Yes, Chimihurura. Okay. Yeah. This is a KABC building. Yeah. This is a Radisson Blue Hotel. Yes. For the convention center. Okay. And uh, this is, uh, this building here is called Kigali Heights. Yeah, yeah, yes. this is like the meeting point of places. Yeah. 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 So, at uh, this place, so yeah. there are seats. Uh, and uh, there is a garden where people can come, okay. chill, relax, yeah. take photos, create yes. content. Yeah. yeah, that's nice, and that it's really it. well, well done. Yeah, yeah. all right, so we're about to finish here, but uh, you're a content creator here, yeah. uh, a YouTuber, and yes. you're doing pretty well on YouTube. Yes, but I'm I've realized when I'm here in Rwanda, there is no adverts. No adverts. So, how do you guys make your, your bag from YouTube? Um, little by little when uh, people from uh, other countries they view uh, yeah they okay. view our, our content yeah and do you know why there's no like adsense here it used to be yeah but uh, uh, it, when it, it uh, stopped mm -hmm. uh, we actually didn't know why because oh. there was no clear explanation about wow. that also it was there before yeah, it was there before. And do, do you think that affects how content is done here? Like people stop creating content because it doesn't make any any yeah, sense? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Mm. And uh, but uh, that also people were not even uh, creating content on YouTube. So it's a it's a trend now. Yeah. But uh, things like uh, vlogs and uh, yeah stuff like vlogs. Yeah. They are kind of new here. Uh, what people are used to are like uh, those sit downs interviews okay. where there is somebody, uh, yeah. you know, 
indeed there are also some guys who create comedy yeah uh, yeah like uh local films yeah and, and also music videos yeah and, music yeah. Videos. and i see you're also an, a performing artist yes, yes how is it being an artist here um it's very good mm. very nice yeah um it used to be very very hard uh, back in the days yeah uh, because you you could you had to, to struggle uh, to promote your music yeah going on radio stations televisions mm. uh, it was a, a very very hard thing yeah because uh, you had to have a lot of connections stuff like that but nowadays mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy because of social media yes yeah uh, uh, for example i can have a song and come here and shoot even like uh, th this shot you are saying so i can i can sing it and da, da, da. if it's a good song it will go it will go or, yeah. yeah it will trend okay yeah people can uh, you can people are trying to create like a, yeah um, TikTok, uh, TikTok challenges, yeah, stuff like that. So it's, it's going very, very easier now. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So guys, this is be the world, uh, not the world, but the Kigali uh, car free day because we're in Kigali right now, and it happens in different places. And uh, just one more question, maybe about your your country. Yes. Is there something you'd want to change if you were given the opportunity or if you were to sit with like uh, your president Kagame? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that you feel because it feels as if he's like mm. doing really well for the country and everything. Is there yeah. one thing that you'd be like, hey, I wish you could just fix this one here? It's a very tough question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, something I would like to change maybe is uh, to build more infrastructure for you know for musicians yeah okay for, musicians. for, for the art, creative arts yeah, creative arts yes okay that we have mm -hmm. like uh, the um, the bk arena and stuff but it was not built for for you know for only like uh theater or music mm. it was built for mostly for sports yeah even though we use it for for that okay yeah but uh, there is uh, there is it was not specific for that so you'd like yeah. to have a bit more of yes. Uh, yes. Si that type of thing yeah because uh, i am in the sector of entertainment. yeah yeah true i want people to, yeah. to be entertained yeah, fully. Fully. yeah and yeah. in in the spirit of our car free day here yeah do you think that they should continue with the car free day or you feel like maybe it's just too much or they should do less of it or more of it or it's perfect they have to do it yes people need to stay fit yeah <laughs> yeah know, they have to 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 have a uh, good health mm -hmm. and uh, because uh, when you do sport you think good yeah and do good true true so this is a way of also uh, keeping people you know active yeah have the strength to work so yeah it can be definitely uh, yeah so yeah. Me, i think the the pace is it it's very good okay. twice a month is good yeah yeah perfect yeah so guys that is it yeah it's yeah. been the car free day here in kigali i've really enjoyed it i've really loved to see how when uh, leadership is done and it's done well how nations can transform man and it's amazing uh, actually i have one more question yeah you know there was like the big genocide that happened here in yes. kigali in 94 right yes but you probably weren't born before that but prior to the genocide mm -hmm. how was rwanda was it still like flourishing like this or did it happen like after you know everything changed because i'm really curious like maybe how are the roads how are, was it clean were people still well and organized or because I, I, nobody talks about mm. post genocide it's only like no pre yes, only yes, post yes. yeah do you know do you have any idea yeah, yeah i think what you see today yeah uh it's something that flourished from uh uh the days after the genocide okay so because things like this i used to i i uh, i saw this place mm -hmm. back in the days after the genocide like when i was little 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 yeah but it was not like this um uh, places were not organized we had a uh, few infrastructures mm -hmm. you know if electricity was a problem yes water was a problem roads were uh, was a problem but when whenever you cross all over for example kigali mm. you can see um tamak roads yes all yes over very nice roads yes um 
new things new things happening like yeah. uh, even uh, even the tourism grow have uh, have grown a lot mm -hmm. so amazing yeah this is amazing so yeah. so guys you can yeah. see only 30 years that this country has been transformed so as you hear before everything was not like here it was just like probably like burundi you know or like any other country in africa which is like just there but when you have the right leadership and when you have somebody who is has a vision and enforces it and the people come and follow suit and they work together this is what africa can become like imagine the entire africa has the capacity to become like this in the next 30 years as you're speaking now is 2024 by 2050 the entire africa can look like this if only we decide if only our bombo clad blood clad leaders decide to become better people and better citizens and just do their job man not be so individualistic anyways i have ranted a lot when i'm in here in kigali because i've become it's challenged me a lot and i get angry that our leaders like you know the leaders from neighboring countries and other places in africa yeah. they even come here for visits and tours but it doesn't hit them in their head that they can also make their countries to be this way yes. and uh, you know when the country is prosperous and people are happy it keeps growing and becoming better man yeah but the good thing is uh, people like you young people yeah as we can change the narrative. We can change the narrative, yeah. And it's a big challenge to my government also and my president, William Ruto, man. Come on, wake up. What's wrong with you, you know? Because, like, my country is really doing well when it comes to economy and, uh, you know, jobs and stuff like that and infrastructure. But we have this sleaziness of government and leadership that people just want to, to just not be serious, you know? Anyways, enough ranting for the day, guys. Thanks for watching the video, man. Top of the morning, Kishma World. Make sure you check out his page. Maybe give out your page one more last shout out as we finish. Yeah, my page is Wachera. Wachera. That's it. Yeah. yeah that's check it. out both his pages, listen to his music, support the cause. And uh, if you're new to here, to this channel, my name is Kish, Kish Mewal. I'm coming from Kigali, Rwanda. And a lot of Rwandese people are watching me. So thanks so much for watching and just showing love. And uh, see you guys in the next one. That is it.